What do you call a map of the world entombed within a boulder? Globinstone. Jump back into our current adventure as the goblins here. Sort of, the, sort of the overall story of this game is that we are the goblins, a horde of cutesy forest creatures who are completely innocent of all wrongdoing, um, who've been persecuted and armed by evil adventurers. How dare they? Let's see. Can I upgrade the war room yet? Oh, we can. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So we have two Aura Flame blessings at the start of each adventure. That's pretty exciting. We seem to be missing a guard. Let's get Jankoviak in here. Pretty good team. Let's see. I think Buffer Bloat is a default name. Dirk Graver certainly is. I wanted to name a goblin after Sir Van Buren. So welcome aboard, Van Buren. In fact, you can come on our next raid. If I can find you. What is this game? This is Goblin Stone. Um, it's one part XCOM. Uh, the base building and team management are very XCOM style. Uh, and one part deck builder, you could almost call it. Not quite a deck, exactly. Rather, a subset of special abilities that each goblin has. Uh, we are entering the Golden Hollows today. Let's go to the world map here. As we finally gathered enough... ...crests to open the path to Golden Hollows. So let us embark into a new region here. Take Survey and Bjorn over maybe Scuzzlemonk. Because Monk is 742, Van Buren is what? 715. So less crit chance, but that's fine. And five life per attack's pretty good. So we got two raiders, hunter, demon, mystic, and a guard. That's a pretty balanced team. Goblins, let's begin our journey towards a new region of the world. Should mean new types of enemies, new bosses, new everything, really. So we get two blessings at the start here. 20% chance to inflict slow, and 12% max life up. That's kind of nice. We're definitely going to enjoy having two of those in every, uh, every mission. Do you get gear for the goblins? Yes, goblins... Uh, so, in terms of character advancement in this game, goblins have just a weapon that they equip. Just one equipment slot. They also have base stats, but those base stats don't directly improve. You don't get to level up your goblins. Instead, what you get are new goblins with higher base stats, and you are meant to turn over the roster. Either retire or have your goblins die. When your goblins leave service, you get... You get uh, souls, indicated by the green number here, based on how many missions they've been on. So Claude Tinker, for example, gives four souls. Ragnar is only two. You could call this game a roguelite, with each expedition being a run. Um, 
Doesn't feel very accurate, though. It's kind of more like Darkest Dungeon, where you have a, a permanent base that you are upgrading constantly, and you have uh, individual heroes that you may keep or lose. I'm going to go this way. What got we here? Some humans. Rogue Cooks. So it's a body check to try the uh, try the food. I think our total body is pretty low. A group of familiar-looking cooks approach the goblins cautiously. These cooks are the same ones who once served under the notorious innkeeper. Apparently their culinary ventures have extended into the untamed wilderness. With apprehension, they offer a dish to the goblins. One of them nervously stampers for mighty goblins. Their gaze remains fixed on the goblins, awaiting our decision. We'll try your food. Despite its unfamiliar origin, the flavors delightfully surprise them. With each bite, their taste buds dance to the melody of unfamiliar ingredients. And yet, amidst their enjoyment, an ominous rumbling begins to stir within their stomachs. On save. Yeah, we have really high body stats, actually. So we have to get 18. It's literally impossible to fail for once. The initial rumble is replaced by an invigorating satisfaction. The cooks smile and nod to one another in shared relief. Healing effects are better now. I'm not sure why it said total body six at the bottom there, because that was not even close to accurate. How's it going, Mr. Potential Battle Guru? Nothing without practice. Level up my stuff. Uh, we want to level up Spirit Rush, right? I think it only costs three or something. Armor up. So these are upgraded just for the current expedition. An improvement. There's always uh, YouTube, GGG. YouTube's always there. Uh, we could go up to a shrine here. The shrine can, I believe, permanently buff one of our goblins. Uh, but we also get permanent buffs from getting harvested materials. So let's go bottom path. Five humans. Interesting. So if you're not familiar with Goblin Stone combat, we have six units on our side um, in a particular order here. The initiative bar is located at the top, and this tells you who's acting next. Every unit moves forward along the initiative bar at the same time. When you use an ability, the number in the gem here on that ability indicates how far back on the initiative order you go. You can see the sort of highlight there for three. The chopping costs three initiative. That means this character moves back three, three stages on the initiative bar. And it'll be a while until they can act again. Whereas uh, Serve and Bjorn, if they use Slash, let's use Slash, that's only a two cost. So their next turn it happens before uh, the first goblin who acted. They used a uh, cheaper ability. Jump. Ooh, Soul Gale can uh, damage quite a few enemies. But no, let's buff the ranger. You up a heal. Each of our characters have, I believe, um, four abilities 
that they can draw from based on their class. If we don't like the ones that we got, intercept armor up here in this case, as well as one ability from your weapon. The the bat the first one's always the same. If you don't like the other two, you can redraw a number of times per combat, dependent on I wanna say the will stat. Or no, it's mind, spirit, and body. I think it's spirit. One of your stats. First foe is slain. When enemies have armor, <clears throat> what armor does is reduce damage by a flat value. So if you have three armor, you take three less damage per hit. <clears throat> Get stunned. I see we have like intense on some of these guys now. Hm. Cool. Bonk. That's all right. We can just heal him. That brute has no bleed resist. Still, I think I want to pick off the weak ones first. We have a healing chant coming in that will heal us all momentarily. And with 60% uh, healing up, it should be pretty substantial. It's a lot of damage. Throw a swift mend onto Dragona as well, who took extra damage. That's more like it. More. They always want more. That's kind of funny. He bled out as I drew my cards. I don't think I've seen that happen before. Get some healing stuff. Wood and fiber. A valuable resource. Let's bleed this guy immediately this time. Actually, less enemies than last time, too. Give him the Soul Gale. Powerful start. A proper blap. You go third. Oh, it actually... Oh, that's cool. I don't know when they added this, but now when you mouse over an enemy, it indicates who they're going to be striking on their turn. Based on the current initiative order tracking. That's cool. Let's put Sacred Shield on Dragona, then.
just uh, chop the fighter. Heal him before he can act. Stunned enemies don't move on the initiative bar anymore. Oops. That's supposed to be swift mend. Oh well. Totally okay. Perfect. Poor guy. Foolish creatures. Definitely like the vibe of this more than Darkest Dungeon. I don't know if I feel like the gameplay is necessarily better than Darkest Dungeon, but I do like the vibe more, for sure. Take that tough battle. We're crushing everything without taking damage currently. I'm kind of curious if the next region will change that. Or if we'll continue to perform well. Yeah. Nicely done. Good crit. First foe is slain. Keep them coming. That poor human exploded. It's a tough life. Ow. Prudence and time are potent medicines. All right, getting beat up a bit more here. Let's we'll take advantage of that boosted healing. Intercept. There, now we can focus on a healing for a bit. Don't want to kill him before the healing uh, chant goes off, though. Ow. Again. There we are. So only Faley is hurt, that's good enough. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. 
hasn't encountered. Since we have healing items, after all, we can use the uh, foodstuffs and the berries. Some food. And then to a shop or to a battle guru. Not often things that you find in the shops mid run that are worth it. I'm gonna say no. Just give me a couple battle upgrades instead, make the uh, rest of the mission easier. Or they will be tested. Yeah, and improve. Let's see. 50% chance to throw two daggers. That's pretty sweet. And then another upgrade to the healing chance. Sure. Mm, an improvement. Very good. Surprise centipedes. Ow. have no bleed resist. Uh, kill this one before it can act again. Yeah. A precise assault. Must die. Good work. A galvanizing victory. A place of respite for the weary. Oh, interesting, Tom. Every time a goblin gets hit by a status effect, their status res res resist to that effect permanently increases. Didn't realize that. They settle in, weary of the road. That's kind of cool. Thus far, it seems like new goblins aren't a dramatic improvement over the old. In terms of base stats, but... I expect that'll increasingly change as we keep going. Wish I had a bit more ways to deal damage to five enemies at once. Currently can't do that. A bold attack. the delayed heal since we need it oh. 
This hunter character does more damage each time they kill an enemy. So their damage stacks up more and more. Ouch. Mm. The AoE heal. Of victory seldom goes steady. Let's to bleed. <laughs> oh, I see we're full up, huh? Um, they can carry no more. these. The Grizzle Smith greets them kindly. They can carry no more fine work. These upgrades only apply for the current uh, mission. They can carry no more evident crops. I can carry no more. They can carry no more forged on you. They can carry no more. Better here than in battle. Pretty good. You know, I'm not sure they can carry the anymore. Cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. This poor boss. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. I feel really bad for the boss we're about to fight. They He's so big. <laughs> oh, why is he so big? Baldrick the Bold is his name. He is Mr. Big Man. Why is he Mr. Big Man? More like Taldrick the Bald. I have a poo trap. A vital blow. Good tanking. Explode the poo. 
It failed. Whoa. He hits like a truck. I guess no surprise there. Okay, please. Oh, I can't intercept him. Interesting. Why not? He's not a valid target. That makes sense. This guy's going to hit uh, Duck Rocker. Better kill the thief then. Okay, no more dying for you. Let me stun resist. Let's see if we can stun him. Yep. Who didn't work though? Again. Terrible. He dead. And his small clone. Summoning their fortitude. BG. Uh, we sell for seventy. Don't need the meat anymore. They can carry no more. We sure can't. Don't think there's anything more to fight. They can carry no more. Yeah. Open the gate. Now the Golden Hollows lay before us. Wonderful. A strange manner of creature descends upon the goblins, interrupting their midday work. They look so friendly. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a harried knoll in great distress. This, of course, is quite a pleasant surprise to the goblins, since the knolls of the hollows have long been presumed extinct. Their smiles quickly fade as the knoll emissary begins his grim tale. Adventurers who once ravaged the hollows have now returned. Alas... With their freeing of the orcs, these adventurers stir once more with fresh game to hunt. This new breed of adventurers, clad in iron armor, inspires terror in the knolls. For now, his people remain concealed in their final bastion, hidden from danger. Chapter 4 Cheese audience with a rat let's see what the new day brings follow the frantic knoll out of the hinterlands and into the golden hollows you got it a mystic has wandered into the campgrounds the spellcaster uses mystic arts to deal and prevent damage Mystic. Only the keen and eager are welcome. We definitely want to recruit this. A promising young fella. Anyone else have good stats? You have eight spirit. But your other stats are complete trash. No way. Looks like new weapons for sale. 
What we got here? Fifteen power sword. Oh, we probably have new uh, new weapon types available now that we're in a new region, I guess. Yeah, these are all really strong. That's a better shield for our guards. Seventeen power club for the acolyte. The jawbone axe does not give the power it advertised anyway. Let's buy some of these expensive weapons. Get rid of some of our current ones. This is terrible. Wait. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, I guess we can sell the ham hammer, finally. It was nice while it lasted. <clears throat> Go to the stone axe. Take the leather shield, get rid of the cobbled shield. Antwok, thanks for the 24 months. Happy subversary to ya. An honest bargain. Give that to Van Buren. I should not give that to Dragona. Okay, cool. And the Mystics Guild is now available. Although I cannot build it. Maybe we have too many guilds. Is that what's going on? Maybe that's what's going on. Because it doesn't seem like I'm allowed to build new guilds at the moment. Not sure why. So I probably have some exploration to do. The Oak Knoll. Yeah, just scout the Oak Knoll. Scout missions are very brief, so we can just try out the new weapons real quick, I guess. Cool. Ah, I have to upgrade the Ancestral Hall. Thank you, Tom. Cool. Okay, we'll make that our next priority. Which means I think we need more souls. Which means it's time to retire some people. Careful we'll take a look now. at that. These places are unknown. Two armor, I like that. Now that we're in a new region, let's take a goblin. I just want to see what our options are. In terms of base stats at this time. Yeah, these look pretty strong, right? Yeah, 855. Holy heck. Or 847. You guys, a bandit? I didn't love the bandits. Plus three power is a really good perk, too. Oh, yeah, this guy's really good. Ruthless is good. Flabby's not that good. Yeah, let's take foil ba foil baster. I choose you. You can head home though. New region should also have new enemies, so this might be tough. Humans and halflings working together. Yeah, we got a veteran fighter here. A halfling captain, a helpful halfling. The tough brute. War armor. Yeah, he looks tough. Still no bleed resist, though. Do the brute first. In terms of bleeding, They're, those guys are tough. The 
it's 10 to each of them. Give him a poo trap. That's the way of it, you see. Staggering. Okay, thankfully the grenade is not that damaging, apparently. I was kind of worried for a second. We're hitting Claude Tinker. That's not allowed. helping. Nicely done. <clears throat> An encouraging progression. I bleed him. Of the fighter. Not sure, I like that much. Healing would be nice now, before we kill him. It's not, though. Okay, moderately tough fight. No problem, though. Patience Seems like we'll be just bitter, fine. But its fruit is sweet. The path is laid bare. May be crossed free of fear. game is a little rough around the edges at places and was uh, significantly more so during the initial release, which I think contributed to the Steam reviews being not so favorable. But yeah, it was in a lot worse state initially, including stuff like uh, glitch sound effects that were really problematic. The lair is full. Uh-oh. Definitely time to retire some people. Hold on. To the barracks. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. No, four, four, seven. Some of those are rookies, though. Those are rookie numbers. Might be time for a voluntary retirement by Faley. Definitely have more raiders than I need. Lose tent fish. There's the retire button. I think we can lose Ganja Goblin too. Get two souls. All right, we need... How many souls to upgrade the Ancestor's Hall? 
35. It's quite a few. Prospects loiter about, eager for admittance. Big Shadow had a more mortal wound. Oh, yeah. All right, you retired too. And we should breed our new goblin foil baster here. Let's name this after somebody from chat. Do I ever accept new gobos just to retire them? Um, they're not really worth retiring until they've been on a few missions. I think this should be Mouse Master. That's what I think. We can change your class. With these stats, you could be almost anything. To the breeding chamber. A tranquil home for goblins. Not here. Uh, where is it? Orins. Here we are. A strong lair requires a hardy lineage. Many will be born here. Yeah, let's dismiss these. May they prosper wherever they will. <clears throat> Let them live a carefree life, free from war. The Mouse Master has 855. And some pretty good perks, including the Ferocious perk. Who would we like to cross with here? 674 is pretty good. These retired goblins are not that good. Bailey is okay as well. Like, who was it that I wanted to use? Dragona is pretty good. This pairing holds promise. Sure, what do we get? High five and make new goblins. New generation. A new hope. Food patter, eight five four. Are the stats. Ferocious was inherited for three power. Open Mind is also really good. So is Defensive. Yeah, this is a really good goblin. And you can pick basically any class you want. Including Mystic. And Gush Ticker. 857. Also Ferocious. Also Open Mind. Yeah, these are both keepers. Do goblins have uh, any sex or gender differentiation? Nope. I think they're plants. Yeah, two excellent goblins. I don't know if I want a bandit. I didn't like the bandit's abilities very much. Primary ability on hunter is mind. I like, I like hunter a lot here. A ferocious, open-minded hunter. Give them lots of crit and power. Yeah, let's take a hunter. Uh, who do we want this to be named after? Who wants a hunter? Twist shut. And then food pattern I'm going to make into a mystic, I think. Shousen, you got it. And then Depresso Expresso, you're going to be the other one. An appropriate vocation. Cool. Okay. Let's check the weapon shop. 
Make sure there's nothing new I want. Meh. Well, that's pretty good. A 15 power thing with chop. 18 power mace. That's not bad. I need more lard. A fair trade. More lard is required. Just what's needed. Got lots of fiber. What else do we have? Not much of the other stuff. Fiber and leather. Let's see if I can upgrade anything with that. Fiber and wood. Just make the acolytes better. Fiber and wood. Okay, fiber and wood upgrades the various guilds. I guess. Hunter's guild's already leveled up, right? That's right. Armory needs more ore and leather. Orders needs more stone and ore. We can upgrade the larder. Let's do that. That took the stuff I had lots of. War room is now maxed out. I don't think we're close to having enough souls. Uh, but we should upgrade one of the other classes. Using a lot of raiders. Improve their crit chance. Improve their crit chance. Cool. Okay. Let's try out some of our new gabos in the Golden Hollows here. Exploring South Patties. Let's do a quick explore here. So we're going to swap Someone for just Depresso Espresso. Let's try swapping out Duck Rocker. What are your abilities here? Mystic Bolts. Heal damage. I don't get a full description here. You have a weapon. Interesting. It's not a very good weapon. I'll have to find a better one. Shoot three to five bolts at random foes, dealing 30% each. That's just magic magic missile. Big fiery orb. Freeze a foe. If it already had freeze, do more damage and freeze it again. Or deal descending damage to the front three foes. Interesting. It's all damage, it seems. I was told mystics could prevent damage. That's definitely not the case with these abilities, anyway. Well, that makes you not very good until you get a better weapon. So... Try somebody else. Shouzen. You're going to replace Claude Tinker. Or I can... No, I don't have two uh, hunter weapons. Um, and Mouse Master, you're going to replace Faley. You are substantially tougher. Actually, let's try out Depresso here. Uh, instead of our uh, Mystic, I just want to see how they play in the short mission here. And then you have the right thing equipped, right? Yeah, okay. Begin! Begin. They tread an unfamiliar path. Ooh, magic users do more damage. Hey, that'll help. I do love the hat. Yeah, definitely give me another new goblin, because we've established how good they are. You're blue? Fast backer, 642. Hot-blooded, flabby acolytes. Kind of mediocre, although I like the face quite a bit. Dome Punter, 644. Strong back, plus two to inventory size is kind of cool. I don't love these two, actually. 
I guess I'll take Dome Punter. What a big nose you have, friend. You're all nose. I can't even see your eyes. Do you even have eyes? Deeply unclear. Spiders and wolves. Some things never change. These are tough-looking wolves, though. Rock spider. Not sure I want to know. Exceptional skill. Mild concern. That bite, though. Yeah, Blast does plenty of damage. Targets a random foe, though. Spiders have been eliminated. Direwolves are buffing it themselves, so they are a bit tough. Ooh, resisted too. That was only 10%. That's not good. Blood rupture. These Bane arrows are so strong, though. It takes caution. Okay, healing is not readily apparent, readily available. Seems like the hunter's doing all the work, though. So many redraws, too. Good work, Shazam. Victory, they advance their cause. Yeah, we got a healing, too. Have some meat. Also, that was it. Just one fight. Not too bad. Unknown trails no longer seem foreign. Seems like the Mystic's gonna be really good damage if we can get a better weapon for them. Let's see what the new day brings. Nibble fades from memory. Let's pick somebody else to retire. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Not exactly thrilled with Explosive Ash. The bandits. I need to make sure I have one bandit, though, on hand. 
Wu is pretty weak as far as Hunter go. We have Shaozen and Prosby. Let's retire Wu. Is it perhaps time to retire Scuzzlemonk? Oh, Banana Gob, actually. Oh, I see, but you've got Dark Vitality. You're kind of good. Then let's lose Guzzlemonk. You also have two power. Oh, I see. I see. Eh. Retire anyway. Only the keen and eager are welcome. All right, merchant, what you got? Bandit acolyte, shaman warlock acolyte. 13 power for the mystic. Pretty good. Take the skull wand. An honest bargain. Cool. All right. <laughs> Do a real mission. Find the Null Emissary. All right, Depresso, you have a real weapon now. Please enjoy. Uh, although I think I want Depresso to be instead of maybe Servant Bjorn. Let me go back to having uh, Duck Rocker, who was being pretty good. I liked their utility. Let's try this party composition. We have six different classes. Each party member gains two life per attack and our ranged attacks deal more damage. Be another good one for the Beast Bane Arrow. Except it's gonna be a Human Bane Arrow. Oh wait, it's these guys again. Try the food. Give me that boosted healing. Impossible to fail. Oh, Twenty-four is required. Hold on, that's almost impossible to succeed. You up the limit. Yeah, that was very hard. So now what happens? Unable to keep the food down, the group wretches. The cooks exchange looks, a mixture of horror and disappointment washing over their faces. Healing is less effective. Yikes. Okay, that's not good. I don't want to take too many fights then, because we will get worn down, probably. That's fine. Nothing must be wasted. The Guru. The old Guru has much to teach. 
update upgrade beast bane arrow. That's interesting. Adds five poison. Three to seven bolts. Give me that. Makes the warrior. Be to fifty. Shortened healing uh, prayer. Although I'm not likely to use it because of the reduced healing. Three to eight bolts. Hmm. I have super I magic power. Movement. Super magic missile. Go bottom route. Stinky halflings. Also one random human. Ow. Just doesn't do very much damage. 24 is pretty good, though. The wizard. A vital blow. Love it. Modest victories lead to great accomplishments. Ready for the taking. <laughs> this will come in hat sharpen their blades. Upgrade the wizard they will soon need them. Can carry no more. Forge a new. Yes, keep going. Fine work. A poor three upgrades is very good. Hello, a cleric's blessing. I'm Hamid, a fallen cleric now devoted to the forces of darkness. I bow before you. Well, body is our highest average stat. Let's try the test of body again. I wonder if it's going to be 24 requirement this time. 22. Nope. Oh. Needed to not pull the sixes. Seems the cleric has dozed off. At least we don't get a penalty this time. Um, let's check out a new goblin. Didn't even charge us 75 gold, it's true. Oh, those look like good stats. 425, not you. Although aggressive is good. Gain fury after killing a foe. What is Bind Leader? Ten body, no mind? What the hell? He's a fit brute. Spirited fit brute. So much health. Bind Leader, you're coming with us. Do we immediately replace Jankoviak? I think that I do. Temporary leather shield, perfect. That means we need a new a, a chat member 
for this new goblin. Uh, what do you do here? Who's it gonna be, Twishet? Bear Smash. How fitting for a tank. Welcome. That's a big tank. That's a... <laughs> that was the last place I expected scorpions. Or uh, centipedes, rather. Ow. Oh. How dare you? Eight times three to eight. Seems good. A precise oh, and it heals two per? That's ridiculous. With the uh, the healing benefit, which is not getting nerfed either. So that's nice. That's all the healing we probably need then. With you. Weapon the shield, they trundle on. Hone their skills, for they will be tested. Uh, let's update Practice the soul game. Makes the warrior. Feels like we're slightly ahead of curve. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Double soul cool. gale. That's kind of cool. Hmm, an improvement. Nothing must be wasted. So we have a dark shrine up top there. That's a bit tempting. Yeah, I want that dark shrine. See if we can get to that. It's a bit of a slog, this little map that we're playing on. So there's a concern we get whittled down, but I think we're fine. Are we though? We're fine. Seven hits. Seems OP. Uh, just stab him. Start. Please stop hitting Depresso. the missiles. Exceptional skill. Conflict, though unpleasant, is entirely necessary. Plus five power. 
Can I slot that into... No, there's no slots on the wizard. No. Keep it to the hunter then. A modest fortune. Cool. Morb does 43. Command him and then he dies. Tough life. That's pretty free. The unsavory lot will bother them no more. What does this shrine offer? The cold star mutters its great promises. I want to risk Depresso's life. Lose them permanently if they get corrupted. That's even a 1% chance to fail by default. So that's unacceptable. Chaosin is more expendable. Boost Shouse in here, and I might do it twice if the Heroes failure chance is uh, 24. That's too high. That's too high. Um, we can do something else. No, I can't leave the shrine. Not willing to do a one in four to lose the goblin there. Shouse in themselves volunteered, and I chose no. Place of tranquility and rest. <laughs> They rest Understandable, and reflect though. upon the day's <laughs> events. Very respectable choice. All right, we need to feed. That's a big shield, lady. Who are you? They confront the scourge to put an end to its terror. The Shield Maiden. So Shield Maiden has bolster. Each counter boosts armor and power by three. When goblins use an ability, remove counters equal to the cost of the ability. Okay, so she has 60 additional power currently and 60 additional armor. And 50 bleed resist. Sounds like magic missile's gonna carry the day again. Let's try to get a uh, slicing dagger then. Yeah. So, anyway, I started blasting. Crit for 51. Good lord. These attacks do pretty good damage. Double shot will do effectively nothing, though, right? Uh, 
reducing the armor stacks, though. Please hit me. And then back up to 20. That's pretty tanky. That's spooky, actually. All right, use something with a higher cost to remove more stacks of uh, bolster here. Oh, that wasn't the delayed one. Any ally or foe, remove all status effects. Is bolster a status effect? Can I remove bolster? I think we have to find out. It'll remove the bleed. Maybe I don't want to find out. Shield Dragona. Stack and bleed. I don't want to remove that. It definitely removes the bleed. Fire the missiles! Six times eight, that was 48 damage with no crit. Seems pretty good. Just pick wounds. A vital blow. <sighs> I think each bolt has an individual crit chance. We've seen... We've seen it work that way before. Where only one of the bolts is crit. Okay, well, that, that wasn't even that bad, actually, but it did break all those uh, damage shields I had. How about Giant Orb? That was very silly. Does that even work? No idea. Need to pick wounds quickly. Quickly, I say. Reset those bleed stacks. Keep immune to stun. Whatever. Fatigue. He's getting tired. That just seems reasonable. And the armor is falling off. Our chance to do major damage. Good. Oh yeah, that just gets blocked. Okay. Not important then. 
I do love that. One more orb. GG. The imposing creature is gone. Hopefully never to return. That poor boss. Never stood a chance. GG. Just beyond the hill, they find the knoll, fiercely tracking obscured footprints within the sandy earth, his eyes rimmed red with tears. The emissary is searching for a knoll youngling who vanished along the trail. As quickly as they spotted him, the knoll disappears, following the tracks farther down the path. Level complete. A new day dawns. Catch up with the knoll at the South Paddies. Oh, the merchant is a knoll today. You look uh, over caffeinated. This will buy some bones and some wood. Just what's needed. Somehow missed that it was an old last time. I guess they were, we're, we're out of orc territory now. Cool. A strong lair requires a hardy lineage. Many will be born here. Shousen, you are nuts. You're related, related to Depresso Espresso. Why so related, though? Guess let's try Omega Boom. The makings of a strong brood. Breed. Routed. Eight five six. Ferocious. Oh yeah, eight five eight. What is the main stat for Mystic Mind? Need seven Mind to be a Mystic. You can be a Mystic. Perfect. Peep Mugger the Mystic. Suits their Who wants to be a Mystic? Twist chat. I need more wizards. And you are recruitable as well. As a Shaman or another Acolyte. Let's take another Shaman, perhaps. A new calling. An appropriate vocation. Shubinator casts magic missile at the darkness. 
get words in here. Words, words, words. A new calling. Barracks is full, though, so we got to retire a couple more people. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many. Time for some folks to leave. Jankoviak, the guard. Your days have expired. Take some of these on expedition so that they can retire. I guess we can retire Fele. Get a lot of points that way. We just got another good shaman. Should know we yeah. Yeah, let's retire Fele. Bailey's been a very good shaman to us, but it's retiring time. And one more. Uh, buffer bloat. You can go. I don't need so many guards. Cool. Yes, you are. Wait, what? All right. They swapped. Yeah, you're the mystic. Suits you. the A new calling. You didn't have anything for Mystic, right? I'd like to run double Mystic. You did. Give me that. An honest bargain. Sweet. To the map. Follow the knoll. But who do we swap out? I think Duck Rocker. Go more damage oriented here. Speed plus 30%. That's actually huge, right? Let's try this weapon out. Do I encounter a lot of bugs playing this game? Uh, during the initial release, it was a lot buggier. There's been a few post-release patches which have cleared it up pretty substantially. It's not too buggy now. Wouldn't say it's completely bug-free, but it's definitely uh, a lot better. Okay, bear smash. Equip the shield, thank you. Range attacks deal more, and magic. Magic does more. With double wizard, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. The Doom Shrine, huh? I don't think I want to mess with that today. The Hungry Halfling. I have no food, friend. A tiny morsel of food is all I beg for. Curiously, the air is perfumed with the unmistakable scent of cheese. But we have to attack. The unmistakable aroma of cheese wafting in the air raises their suspicions further. And we attack them. Just one hungry halfling. Oh, he's tough, though. He's got 100 health. Ow! Are potent medicines. He's an actual boss. Hold on. Terrifying. Eat two crits for 23 to the face, sir. Take that. Not heal that much.
He just dies before he gets to go, though. Seems all right. With each victory, they advance their core. Hidden beneath his, his guise were ample supplies of food. Any sympathy extended to such cunning tricksters would have been sorely mistake, uh, misplaced. Give me that cheese. Have some cheese. Going up. Any more super goblins for me? That one's clearly a wizard. Rune Goober. You don't even have the stats to be a mystic. Why are you a mystic? Bear Sipper's all right. Two body. That's a good perk. You got good perks. All right. Oh, Beer Sipper. I choose the beer. This way. Might be able to get to that camp too. Let's go for the quote unquote tough battle. Some wolves and some spiders. Poisons. Poisons. <laughs> what do you mean, poisons? First foe is slain. Trap's going to deal 25. Not if it fails, though. Good. Good adjust. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. How difficult is this game? Not very. Even if you do perish and fail, um, that's a, sort of a, a method of advancing in this game. You can keep sort of grinding and improving your goblin forces until you do eventually prevail at any given scenario. Darkest Dungeon style. So I wouldn't call it overly hard. We've had a few hard boss fights, but we've always been able to deal with them by just lopping up the roster a bit. A 
Galvanizing victory. Okay, that was a little tough. A bit battered from that fight. There's no actual fail state for this game? Yeah. <laughs> The Smith and that's equally true again of Darkest Dungeon, which is unless you're playing in the the Super Nightmare mode, there is no fail state in that game. So it's a particularly apt comparison, I believe. Evident craftsmanship. You can lose progress, though, by losing valuable heroes. Yes. Definitely. Probably more so, I think, in Darkest Engine than this game. Yeah. Definitely a possible. Greater Rat! Not just any rat, but a greater rat. The most total damage. Wow. Oh, crushed. Deleted. Nice yes, those crit separately. Smash is really bad at healing. It's half your spirit. Must have bad spirit. Body spirit? of a very embodiment of survival. Ooh, goblin shrine goblin? I'm kind of down. Look at some new recruits. Fine baubles. Eight, eight, seven. There we go. You're coming with me, Grot Binger. In fact, are you going to replace Mouse Master right now? <laughs> you do just seem better. Ferocious and flabby. Oh, that's it. We also have flabby. I see. That's part of your problem. Just have the wrong perks. Okay, now uh, Mass Master can stay. We'll have to make more room at the lair. Interesting. New tutorial. Curious. They fall to venerate their ancestors. 20 crit or more money. Take the crit out. I don't need the money. They revel in the shrine's blessing. We have lots of cash. Their wizard, Fire Molter. 3, 2, 8. <laughs> Seems bad for a mystic. 
These are all good perks. What about you? Ruthless, fit, skeptic, beast of her. Now we'll take Sore Mincer. the elite. Two wolves and two spiders. What a surprise. Knockback, though. Those Brutal. Those. An encouraging progression. Intercept that. Five armor helped a lot there on Dragona. A vital blow. Right, doesn't do damage unless they are bad. Need to kill that thing. Is it a random target? Yeah, random target. There we go. A shattering blow. Fifty four. Pretty good. Nice crit. <laughs> Only has a 30 chance to freeze. Seems really unlikely. Hold the nuke. <laughs> Weapons sheathed. They trundle on. Ooh, a five life per attack uh, hunter weapon. Let's put that on the hunter briefly. Limes? Let's have some uh, cheese, though. Wonderful. Flaming Skull. They have um, magic armor. they can blow up. That was not cool. And this one has more max life for some reason. No one is sure why. We're all hasted though. 
Also, no one is sure why. Easy. Conflict, though unpleasant, is entirely necessary. It takes some damage there. Got a rest site coming up, though. Orcs are here. The orcs. <laughs> Which chronicles from his vast repertoire are we inclined to hear? The stories of the orc commander. Tell me your tales of strength, sir. We all get four power for the rest of the mission. That's going to help a lot. Oh, and I get to upgrade some abilities, too? How nice. Practice makes the war. It's one, I think. Sweet. Very good. Dang. Not what I wanted. Of victory seldom grows stale. A cozy fire welcomes the wayward. Take two more power. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. Now we're sitting at plus six power. Should make the final encounter pretty dang easy. I want the sack, man. They can what? no longer turn. Damned. All right, fine. Mm. A respectable hall. Could be another battle, though. Usually is. Just beyond the bend, a tiny young knoll is surrounded by a troop of loathsome adventurers, unlike any of the goblins. Well, there are seen dwarfs before. in this game. I was wondering. A towering human in armor taunts the tiny knoll, promising to slay her and level up. He pauses to chuckle softly before disclosing his plans to find her family. And do the same. The helpless young Noel weeps and begs as she offers them her belongings in a futile attempt to bargain for her life. The armored ruffians roar in laughter at her feeble pleas for mercy. 
As they begin to swing their blades, they mock and jeer at her, explaining how they will flaunt their new vestments made of the finest knoll fur. Without warning, the emissary heedlessly intervenes, placing himself in harm's way to protect the small knoll. Armed with nothing but courage and grit, he confronts his enemies with all his might. The sudden distraction allows the youngling a brief moment to escape. How's it going more and more better? Anything to avoid as a first time Elden Ring player. If a strange lady asks you to hug her, say no. The goblins finally arrive, only to see a most sorrowful scene. Wow, they, they killed Their him. Friend lay motionless in the mud, mm. surrounded by three heavily armored figures with weapons still wet with knollish blood. Quaking with rage, the goblins grit their teeth and clench. They draw their weapons to prepare for reprisal and bloodshed. What manner of creature? The takes armored trio in despair. Okay, good block. Okay, we got Doug, Hamilton, and Sir Wigbert. I love it. <laughs> Doug. His name is Doug. How's it going? Uncle Jem, exclamation point schedule. Usually start streaming at noon Eastern time. Okay, they're both guarding Hamilton, as they should. All right, Doug, get, get bled. Hamilton has regular armor, not magic armor. Interesting. So anyway, I started blasting. Actually, no, let's use Mystic Bolts. That might have broke the game. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Vital blow. They're intervening on the attacks here. Saving Hamilton. There we go. Crippling strike. Good. Pathetic. Oh, I see they're both trying to save Hamilton. Very well. Fire a double shot, then. Oh, that actually hit Hamilton. Cool. Shattering blow. Burning hands. He's a real wizard. He knows actual wizard stuff. The Wigbert special. Takes <laughs> caution. A precise assault. <laughs> Doug gives his own life for the cause. Two can play at that game. Exceptional skill. Doug, no. <laughs> there he goes. Rest in pieces, Doug. Aggressive stance. He's going to perform a powerful attack, they say. There he goes. A bold attack. That was not a powerful attack. <laughs> Guess he was back in defensive stance. Strike. 
All right, GG, you nerds. Be gone. One can only hope this cowardly lot has experienced their last experience point. As the tide of battle turns against the armored foes, a war band led by the old orc suddenly appears from beyond the tree line, charging forth to aid the goblins. The orcs howl a most terrifying battle cry as they release their arrows and brandish their weapons. The adventurous bravado abruptly crumbles into cowardice. Even their armor proves ineffective against such an onslaught. Chased by the orcs, they turn and flee in terror further into the woods. Got him. Knollish artifact. An ancient relic prized by Knolls. Cool. Interesting. GG. Loads of money. Let's see what the new day brings. We must find our own way to Edge Cliff and locate the hidden knoll camp. A we must also a retire two more goblins if we want new goblins. I guess Mouse Master with low spirit is not that good of a shaman. Can I change your class, though? No, once you're a veteran, you can no longer change class. Okay, you're retired. Lame Dooker, you're also retired. best to sort the distinguished from the disappointing. Just fired two people. How is it full? Yeah, I'm at 23 out of 24. What the hell? Prospects loiter about eager Here. for admittance. I'll fire one more person then. Whatever. See if I care. Lod Tinker, you're fired. I got other hunters. Only the keen and eager are welcome. We just upgrade the barracks. I oh, yeah, can. I get more power at camps too. That will also help. Sweet. All right, well, next time we play Goblin Stone, we're going to be delving further into the Golden Hollows, probably doing more exploration as we try to find where the hidden knoll camp is. But that's all going to have to wait till next time, Twitch chat, because it is time for me to get going here. Uh, thorough, so long, and farewell to everybody. Thanks for hanging out, Explosive Ash. Words, words, words. Night Wraith. Argus Blarg. More, more, better. Let's see, yeah, we're almost at enough souls to upgrade the Ancestors Hall. If I fired a couple more people, we could even do it. We're going to be back tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. Not a moment later, hopefully. Some more Spires, some more um, Zetzillians. Hoping to finish the story mode in that game pretty soon. And then coming up on Saturday this week is going to be more Ace Attorney Chronicles. Should be a fun time. But that is going to be all for me today, Twitch chat. Thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time, my friends, stay cozy and have a good one. Toodaloo, my friends. Good night. <laughs>